back. Hi, Lego Builds here, and today I'm reviewing a new book that the good people at No Starch Press have recently released called Getting Started with Lego Mindstorms. Getting Started with Lego Mindstorms is co-written by Barbara Bratzel and Rob Turok, both who have had a lot of experience in this field. Barbara is a K8 STEM teacher who consults at the Centre for Engineering and Education Outreach at Tufts University. And Rob teaches computer science, mathematics and engineering design at a senior secondary school in Tasmania. Now sadly I haven't had the opportunity to work with any LEGO Mindstorms before, so I think that I'm the ideal candidate to review this book for beginners. The first thing that struck me when I opened the book was how visual it was, with many large colour images and diagrams, with very clear and easy steps on how to assemble and run your first robot. Coding has been something that has always interested me, but just like Mindstorms, I've never really had the opportunity to have a go at it, so reading this book has been quite the education. Getting started with LEGO Mindstorms is a must for anyone starting out with LEGO Mindstorms or LEGO Education Spike, as it doesn't rush through all of the knowledge required to get it to work. It carefully breaks down the different aspects into 11 separate chapters. The book starts out in Chapter 1, helping to build your first robot, and then continues with chapters on the Mindstorms app, light and sound, motors and movement, events and control, sensors, operators and remote control, variables, lists and my blocks, troubleshooting and techniques for building better robots. As I moved through the following chapters, another thing that stood out to me was that the book does a really good job of showing you alternative ways of doing things, whilst also prompting you to ask yourself, how can I improve on the current design? In conclusion, this is a really well thought out book and is super easy to follow and I'd recommend it for anyone looking at getting into Lego Mindstorms or Lego Education Spike as it is a brilliant companion for a beginner. The age recommendation for this book is 10 plus and that seems about right as I'm pretty sure my 10 year old son would have no trouble following the directions in this book. If you think you or someone you know would love this book, then head over to the No Starch Press website and grab yourself a copy. I've added a link in the description. Thanks for watching this review. I hope that you have found it helpful. Also, a huge thank you to No Starch Press for providing me with a review copy of this awesome book. It's been really fun to review. Also, since my last book review, you may have noticed that I've finished my first of my Indiana Jones animations. The recreation of the trailer for the upcoming film Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. I'm absolutely thrilled with how this has turned out and in case you have missed it and would like to see it I've added the link in the video description below. As for the second animation I'm still chipping away at it with the hope of it being completed by February so watch this space. Right. That's it for now, and I'll see you in the next video.